Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and welcome to the assembly video for our Tipsy Turkey Wine Wrapper. I'm willing to bet that most of you will be attending some sort of a Thanksgiving dinner this upcoming November. And if you are gifting the host or hostess a bottle of wine or some champagne, um, we've got a pretty cool and funny little piece to add to it. Um, so let's hop right into it. We'll take a look at what we have here. Um, this is the main wrapper. It's going to go around the bottle. I'll show you how that works in a second. Uh, we're going to use this to uh, attach our turkey to this actual uh, this little wrapper part. Okay, We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is just do some paper piecing. It's literally just two layers. Well, it's more than two layers, but two sections. And um, it's very simple, actually. So here is the base. Okay, and we're just going to kind of work our way from the bottom up. Okay, so we're going to grab this piece. Now, you'll notice that I have strategically inked uh, various parts of these various pieces. Okay, so if you take a look at the final photo of this project, you'll see where the various sections actually stick out. So just focus your ink on those areas. You don't need to ink this whole thing because obviously this is going to go on top of most of the center here, or the feet. Uh, as well as this little guy here. It's part of his little um, feathers. Um, so just kind of be strategic about where you place your ink so that A, you don't waste ink, and B, you don't waste time. Okay, but we're going to start off with this piece here. Make sure we get a little bit of glue on his little toes or talons, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to go very easy on the glue here. And it's pretty important that we get everything lined up as precisely as possible because this whole section kind of goes together like a little puzzle. So we do want to make sure that we're as accurate as we can be. Okay, so that one goes there and you can see we've got little cutouts here where the brown shows through. Okay, now this piece obviously is going to go right here and you can see it's going to go just like a little puzzle. Okay, just kind of stacking it and building it up as we go. Very simple little project. Uh, I believe there's six or seven different colors which is, you know, it's not a lot, but definitely needed to achieve the look we're going for here, especially with all these beautiful, vibrant fall colors. Okay, so do your best to get that lined up as accurately as you can. There's piece number two. Okay, moving on up here. You can see how this one's gonna go in like so. Um, there's this one little section here where it kind of puzzle pieces in to the previous piece that we just put down and go very easy on the glue here. These are not significantly large pieces and they don't require a whole ton of glue. So we'll pop that in like so. I'm kind of using these little, little pointy areas here from the previous piece as my initial, uh, initial placement area. There we go, just like that. And then we've got these two feathers that are going to go off to the side. I think this is another little project that you could probably do with your kids since it's mostly just paper piecing. Okay, so you can see where that one goes. There's a little cutout there for the little puzzle piece there. And then we'll move on to this one. And you can see how quickly, I'm not rushing, I'm just saying it's going pretty quick because I'm not using a lot of glue. And plus it's also flat, so it's not like when we're working on dimensional pieces, these things, these flat projects go rather quick. Okay, and the last one here, it's got a little bit of an odd shape at the bottom, but that's okay. Most of that is gonna be hidden by Mr. Turkey anyway. And we'll just pop that in, just like a little puzzle piece. Make sure you get that lined up as accurately as you can. Okay, and that is our back layer. We're gonna take Mr. Turkey then and use some foam squares just to create some dimension for him. Okay, now as far as the actual turkey goes, um, what we can do, I'm gonna start with the body actually. Okay, so as you can imagine, this is gonna go on just like this. So we'll flip this over and apply our glue. And this is another one of those pieces that I inked very strategically because of course we've got layers that go on top of certain areas that don't need ink. Okay, so I'm kind of using the little feathers there and his silly, silly little 
a little tuft of hair there as kind of a guide for placement. There we go. Let's get his feet in place. And we're just kind of working our way from the bottommost layer up to the top layer. Okay. And that's going to go right there. Again, just like a little puzzle. I'll lift this up and just take a look and make sure that my alignment is on point. And it is. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so next what we can do is we can take this red layer and this is going to go right here. We kind of welded it to the hat so that there's no guesswork uh, for the part that hangs underneath it. His little, uh, his little waddle thing, whatever it's called. I swear we, uh, we do something with a turkey every year and I can never remember what that what that part of the turkey anatomy is called. Maybe it is the waddle. Hopefully I got it this time. Okay, there we go. So that's going to go there. And next we can actually just put his hat in place. So let's get a little bit of glue on his hat. Just very little bit, very little glue is all you need. You don't need a ton. Let's line that up as accurately as you can. Just like that. Okay. And we have a little band. You'll notice on the hat there are a series of markers. And on this band, there's a little spot for the buckle. The buckle will be on the right hand side. And we are going to use that little marker. Those little markers are going to match up with the bottom left and bottom right corners of the little band. And then, of course, we have the little buckle. The buckle is not symmetrical. So when you pop it on there, just make sure that you have it in the correct orientation. You may need to flip it around a few times and then just kind of leave it there and see if it looks like it matches. That looks good. And then just remember what the orientation was. Just throw a tiny little bit of glue on that and pop that into place like so. There we go. Okay. Next we have his eyeballs and his eyeballs are going to go flush up against the hat. And you'll notice that there are two uh, little shadow areas where the eyes go. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. If you're not sure before you apply the glue, just kind of pop it in place and see if it looks correct. Uh, I'm going to use a set of little tiny black rhinestones to create his eyes. And we're going to kind of skew them a little bit so that he looks like maybe he's had a few glasses of wine. Okay, next we'll take the beak. This is the lighter color of the beak. We have two layers. And that's one's going to go on top of the other. And the other one behind it, the only thing showing from that is this little guy here, that little, little thingy. <laughs> I really need to brush up on my turkey anatomy. Okay, and we'll throw a little bit of glue on the back of this. And the little point there at the top is going to go right between the eyes. And then the rest of it kind of works like a little puzzle as well. There we go. Very cute. All right, and then we have uh, two layers for these wings here. And the reason we have two layers is because we're actually going to uh, put some foam squares on these just to kind of pop this out a little bit and make it even more dimensional. So we do need to glue two of those back to back. Just kind of sandwiching two of them together. I only inked the top layer because obviously it'd be a waste of time to ink the bottom layer since we're not going to see it. Do the same thing on the other side. Just a little bit of glue. Don't need a lot. And pop that right on top of the corresponding back. There we go. Okay, now grab our little foam squares here. And the cool thing about these foam squares, for those of you that <clears throat> have not used them or use them occasionally, you can actually cut them with a pair of scissors to make them a little bit smaller. And that way they'll fit in tighter spots. Okay, so I'm just going to do, I think two of these will work. Well, you know what, let's go with three. On this one, I kind of put two in. 
one area and I've got them cut here. I'm going to put this one here. Okay. So we've got our foam squares in place. We can pull the backing off of these and we're going to attach this to the main turkey body here. And you can kind of see the little shadow element there. So these are going to go right on top like so. And just make sure that this matches up with the natural curve of his body that's there. Okay, we'll pull that off. And this one's going to go right here. Again, making sure that we match up those little shadow elements and that this is nice and aligned with his main body. And then we're going to flip this guy over completely and attach our foam squares throughout. Kind of work the perimeter first. Like so, I'll put one right about there. And then maybe these smaller ones, the ones that I cut in half, I'll put one on each foot. Okay, and then you know what, for good measure, I'll do a couple down the center. Excuse me, fly. Give it a little push test, make sure it doesn't bow or bend too much in any area. And then we can pull the backing off of this. We'll attach this <clears throat> to the piece in the section with all of the feathers. Okay, let's do that. And with this, I'm just going to use the feet as my guide for placement. Pardon my head here. I'm just going to stand up and do this, get a nice eagle eye view or a turkey eye view, if you will. Okay, pop him into place. There we go. Beautiful. That looks really cool. That would look great on a card too. So you could definitely isolate this and just pop it on a card. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to glue this down to this part like so. And you can see here, there are certain areas on the feathers that we do not need to put glue on. So we're going to concentrate the glue mostly in the center like so. I think that's plenty. Just keep it within that area. Obviously you need to go down to the feet like so. I think that will work. Okay. And let's get him glued down nice and flat onto this black piece. I'm just kind of using my fingers up here to make sure that it is aligned correctly. And we'll press that down and let that, let that set for a minute. And then that way the feathers still stick out and it looks nice and dimensional. That could almost, could almost be like a little, um, a place setting, place setting card. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. Uh, one other thing too, before we, before we do the part with the actual bottle, let me grab my, I've got a few black rhinestones here and what we're going to do to make them look like maybe he's had a few is I'm going to put a dot of glue here on the left eyeball towards the bottom. Okay. And we'll keep that one kind of almost like he's cross-eyed looking in on the bottom. And then this guy here is going to go in the top left. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room in there. That should be fine. And we'll pop that right in there. There we go. Yep. That's exactly the look we're going for. Okay. So that is perfect. Let's grab our wine bottle. Now what I like to do with these, you can leave the label on if you want. I took the label off by simply soaking it in some water for a couple hours and then just scraping it off. Uh, now this little band here, it's larger than it needs to be. And you can see that this bottle is kind of tapered. It's not completely straight all the way around and that's okay too. Um, we'll just pop it on as best as we can. It's not going to overlap perfectly, but let's just try to get it overlapped as accurately as we can. Okay. So just make it as tight as you can. Should still be able to slide it up and down a little bit. Uh, I'm not overly concerned about it being perfect on the back. It's not a huge deal. Okay. Next we're going to throw a little bit of glue on just one edge here. Like so, I'm going to spread that glue out to the very edge. And then I will also on this side, throw a little bit of glue on the inside and spread that glue out as well, out to the very edge. And then we'll just take it and overlap it nice and easy. Try to keep it nice and tight like so. And there we go. And just hold that down. 
gonna keep it more towards the top. That looks great. Okay, just hold that for a minute, make sure it doesn't come pulling apart. Okay, and then finally, the last thing to do here, make sure this is staying nicely for us. Just kind of rotate it, find it, uh, rotate a little bit until it looks nice and centered on the bottle as far as the left to right goes. So it looks level, I guess you can say. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of glue on these two little wings, okay? And we're just gonna glue them. You don't need to make it tight. It can actually stick out just a little bit. And that's ideally how we want it, like that. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna grab my glue and we're just gonna throw a little bit of glue on the side here and on the side here, like so. Spread that glue out and spread this glue out. The very edge, keep that nice and crisp. Make sure your fingers are clean. And find my center. You can actually rest him on there, make sure he's even and level. And then just go ahead and push that over onto the side of our little band. And we can lift them up now and just press and hold until it's fully set. There we go and just kind of run your finger up and down that very edge until it's fully secure. And there you have it, okay? So that's really all it takes. I kind of rushed it a little bit and I did not, did not run my fingers up and down this enough to ensure that every little inch of it is secure. So be patient when you do this, but that is going to do it. So there he is. Our tipsy little turkey is all complete and ready for some Thanksgiving festivities. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and visit us on our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. While you're there, hit the little bell so you get notifications anytime we release a new product, whether it be paid or free. And if you make this or anything from our recent bundle, our Turkey Time bundle, I'd love to see it and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree, Dreaming Tree Group or Dreaming Tree Official. Either one should pop up. You can join myself and the almost 40,000 dreamers that inspire us daily. So happy Thanksgiving to all of our friends. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.